Our devotion is uh, gotten today from the book From the Heart, page 22 and paragraph 1. My faith has found a resting place, not in a mad made creed. I trust the ever living one that he for me will plead. I need no other evidence, I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and rose again for me. Amen. Let's pray. Our kind and loving Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the week. And now we have come the preparation day for thy Sabbath. May you abide with us today. We give this day into thy hands that may you lead us and help us to make Friday the preparation day. Help us not to fall away and, and, and do things that are not supposed to be done. Forgive us our sins. All in all, we want to pray that you will give us power to withstand temptations and also to stand in thy, in thy praises and to follow thee wheresoever you go with. Be with us now as you are going for the devotion, learning on many people of prayers and help us that we will be encouraged also to pray, to pray and uh, be grounded in you. This is my humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. In John chapter 15 verse 7, the Bible tells us that if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Christ says that if we abide in him and 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 our and his words abide in, the, in us whatever we will ask it shall be done unto us so she's writing and saying prayer has been made the means of obtaining blessings that would not otherwise be received the patriots were men of prayers and God did great things for them when Jacob left his father's house for a strange land, he prayed in humble contrition, and in the night season, the Lord answered him through a vision. He saw a ladder, bright and shining, its base resting on the earth, and its topmost round reaching to the highest heaven. Afterward, while on his return to his father's house, he wrestled with the Son of God all night, even till break of the day and prevailed. The assurance was given him, Thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince thou hast power with God and with men. Joseph prayed, and he was preserved from sin amid influences that were calculated to lead him away from God. When tempted to leave the path of purity and up and uprightness, he said, How can then how how can how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? This is Joseph. Moses, when uh, who was much in prayer, was known as the meek, meekest man of the face of the earth. For his meekness and humility, he was honored of God, and he discharged with fidelity the high, noble, and sacred responsibilities entrusted to him. While leading the children of Israel through the wilderness again and again, it seemed that they must be exterminated on the account of their murmuring and rebellion. But Moses went to the true source of power. He laid the case before the Lord. These are our great examples. Daniel was a man of prayer, and God gave him wisdom and firmness to resist every influence that conspired to draw him into the snare of intemperance. 
Even in his youth, he was a moral giant in the strength of the mighty one. In the prison at Philip, this was the Poles, where while suffering from the cruel stripes they had received, their feet fast in the stocks. Paul and Silas prayed and sang praise to God, and angels were sent from heaven to deliver them. The earth shook under the tread of these heavenly messengers, and the prison doors flew open, setting the prisoners free, for we should be continually loosening our hold upon earth and fastening it upon heaven. We learn that it is through prayer that we can receive everything from the Lord. In other words, we cannot receive anything from Christ if we don't pray. So in every situation we are passing through, we are called to be men of prayers. In every temptation, we should pray and having belief that God will uh, help us to overcome all the temptations we are passing through. In all the crucibles in this earth, in every situation we pass through, we should see need for prayer. And if we pray, if we find time to pray, and God will also find time to answer our prayers. A good morning.